All right, so let's take it back to the beginning. When did you know that you had the capabilities to pursue football at a collegiate level? It was when I was young, for sure. I mean, you know, I started training when I was six years old. Mm -hmm. So I was young, I think going to probably middle school. I know it's going to be pretty surreal just going through like camp circuits and stuff like that, just seeing guys who were pretty like high touted, you know, recognize mm -hmm. that they were getting offers, especially in like, like lower level high school, so like freshman, sophomore year. A lot of guys that I was competing against were having offers, but I wasn't playing it because I only started when I was a junior. And junior, the office started, so yeah, I was pretty young. Speaking of camps, you were invited to the Elite 11 camp, um, which at the time surprised a lot of people. You were kind of a dark horse, and you thrived in that environment. How much confidence did that give you going forward, given your success there? A lot. I think it just showed me that I can compete with anybody. I mean, I knew that the whole time, but like you said, kind of like a not so worldwide you know whole known name so it was kind of just uh you know just going out there just competing just being myself and you know kind of flourished in it uh, it went around syracuse that you were committed to syracuse at the time that you were receiving a bunch of different offers if that was true why stick with syracuse because they were there from the start um for me it was like all right if they're recruiting me they, they know what they're looking at versus someone kind of just hears the name and hears that i'm kind of in these bigger name categories, all of a sudden they're just throwing out, the, throwing out offers or whatever just because of the situation that I was in. So I thought it was cool that they recruited me that early on, kind of knew what they were looking for, so that kind of helped me stay true to them. It's been a couple years under Eric Dungey. How much were you able to learn from a guy like that? Similar play styles, able to run, able to throw the ball. How much did you learn from him that you took in your Syracuse career as well as onto here at Illinois? A lot. I wouldn't say too similar. He was crazy. Yeah. He's crazy with it. Um, I definitely have taken some of that some of his style and some of the, just the things he's done just watching him practice and in games because obviously you guys saw the game side of it, I saw the practice side of it, it was a little more crazy. Mm -hmm. But um, to be able to take that and just bring that and just help that just be another part of my game to move forward was uh, tremendous. After a few years you decided to enter the transfer portal from Syracuse. What ultimately led to that decision? Right, just um, the situation that we were in, you know, the style, of what they were looking for quarterback wise and the offense. just more running, that's not really my style. It's just kind of, you know, I've been there for a while. It's kind of just good to get a, a new change of scenery, new program, new coaches, new players around this whole deal. So it was good. It worked out. When you entered the transfer portal, you chose Illinois pretty quick. What led to that decision and uh, what sold you on Illinois? Coach B, for sure. Just his background, uh, the people that he's coached with, coached under, players that he's been around, just his whole background, being in college, being successful, and then being in the NFL for a while. Everything from that is very professional. You see how he runs his program also is professional and just helps give you the knowledge to be a better player. When did you know that this team was something special? Obviously they were I believe, five and seven a year ago. Now you guys have turned it around. What point did you know that this team could do some serious damage in the Big Ten? Probably towards the middle to end of uh, winter workouts. Kind of because you know, when I first got here, you know, I knew, I knew there was going to be a solid team, but obviously it's one thing to hope that and wish that, but then to see it actually flourish and for myself to come in and just seeing everyone work and seeing the determination of everybody and seeing like what goals we have for each other and the standard that we were getting in, I knew it was going to be good. You've had back-to-back -back seasons with dominant running backs. You go from Sean Tucker, Chase Brown. What makes Chase Brown so special? Just his adversity. I mean, like his, like the way that he can just run the ball and then pass protect and be able to catch the ball in space and just make plays, it's, it's something special. I mean, everybody sees all the runs I talk about all the time, the way that he the pride that he takes in picking up those blitzes and the pride that he takes in catching the ball and making plays and getting yak with it is something that not a lot of people in the country are doing. How important is it to you guys as a team to clinch the Big Ten West and go on and play in that championship game? I mean, ultimately, that's, that's, that's one of the team goals. You know, that's, that's what we want to do. That's what we play football for. You want to win games. You want to win championships. And just another step in the road. Now the fans at Illinois, they're, they have high expectations for this team. They've had a great start to the season. What's your message to them as you finish out this season? Just, just keep believing in us. You know, we believe in you guys. We appreciate all the show out, everything we've had, all the support that we've had. It's, it's something new to the program, and it's something special, and, you know, we only thrive off of it.